Hello Stampers, it's the Pampered Stamper and I was asked to show you how I did this card. Now, I it's, it's amazing. I love this card. It pops and it looks so pretty and it's so easy. So this card came about because of a swap card that I saw it on stage. I should have had that handy, but I'll add it to the notes later. And I was asked to make a vintage card using the pressed flowers. Now this card isn't really vintage, but my next card will be. But this is the one I'm going to show you and that's the story. So I'm starting with a piece of black cardstock and it's kind of humid today, but with black, you should always use your embossing buddy and just, it stops your anything from sticking other than the embossing powder. So now I'm using my Stamparatus and I'm putting it in the top corner, putting my magnet there. And you'll see that I have put it so that the images are not close to the hinge. They'll stamp better. Okay, so I'm getting my Versamark. And I'm going to give that a good inking up. And then down we go and give it a good press. And what's really nice too is that I've got five stamps at once. And once you do one with the Stamparatus, you can do a whole lot. And they all look the same and it's just so beautiful. It saves you so much time. And I also stamp twice because you never know with Versamark. You need good coverage and it's also a good idea. You should always have a Versamark refill because your Versamark ink pad needs to be juicy. If it's not juicy, you will not get good embossing results. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We'll move that out of the way. And away we go. And now my favorite little tool is a coffee filter and I'm using white embossing powder. Okay, so pour it on and don't worry about using too much because it all goes onto the filter. Now the important part you'll see a little bit here, give it a good hard flick. Hard, okay? You need to be vigorous. Okay, the other important thing is always, always, always put your powder back in because you will inadvertently bump it in your excitement. Don't ask me how I know that. Okay, so now we have our images. I have a little brush. It's a good idea to have a paintbrush and just get rid of the extra little dots. Okay. And as you know, I don't aim for perfection. So now we're going to heat set it. And important thing when you're heat setting is to don't wave the, don't wave it around. Hold it in one place till you start to see it change and then slowly move it around. So the systematic approach works best. pretty good. I usually like to hold it to the light, angle it a little bit. If there's any dark spots, it means it's not done right. There we go. That looks pretty good. So now the next trick is you're just going to color them with blends. I used rich Razzleberry, old olive, and the dark pink pirouette because the light one really doesn't show up. So, and the nice thing is if you, I'm using the wide tip too. If you go over the edges a bit, it's on black. You don't see it really quite lovely. See how nice? That's all it is. It's not rocket science, but, and you can use, I'm using the broad tip because it goes faster, but actually it's probably a good idea to use the precision of the narrow tip. So I'm using dark here, but maybe I'll switch it up and do a few with light as well. Um, just beautiful. So I hope you guys have all had a good Saturday. We had a lot of rain here, um, but the gardens needed it. So that is good. Okay, so I have some on the stem here and I'm going to add, you can probably blend as well. You don't have to do it all in one color. I'm going to do some leaves there. So you can see how nice that looks and how easy it goes because the embossing is also smooth and um, so it just glides right on. And like, I suppose here, like I can add a little dark to give it a little bit of a variation. So you can definitely play. Like for example, I did it 
add just the pink in the middle and then go with a different color along the outsides. And that looks kind of cool. And then if I want to, we'll see if this makes a difference. Oh yeah, see, it's awful. This The writing is so small on here that I this is the light one. I thought I used the light one, but I didn't. I used the dark one. Um, I'm living in denial of my age and my eyesight. Okay, so this is the light. And let's just play around a little bit. The fun thing with coloring tools is that they do encourage play. And play relieves stress. So I highly encourage it. In fact, I think all stamping relieves stress. Okay, I'm going to do this one backwards. Do the dark at the bottom. And then we'll go some, do a little bit of light. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks quite lovely, doesn't it? And the thing is with blends too, don't press hard. The color comes out so beautifully, you shouldn't hear any squeaking sounds. If you hear squeaking, you're pressing too hardly. Too hardly. <laughs> you're pressing too much. Okay, let's do a little light pink too. Actually, it looks light pink, but this is actually the dark pink pirouette. And see how ephemeral this looks. Beautiful. And, yeah. So I've just gone with lighter colors. I wanted to experiment and see what it would look like with dark colors, but I haven't gotten that far. So if you guys want to make some nice things and share with me, sure, do so. I love it when you guys post your work on my page. Here, we'll just add a little bit of color. I'm using the fine tip so it doesn't do a lot. There, and see here, I colored a leaf by accident in pink. It's not green, big deal. Give yourself grace. If they notice it, people notice it, then tell them they need to come to a class so that they can show you how to do a better job. Oh no. Oh, here I thought it was all, I, I, <laughs> I'm freaking out. I'm looking at my video and I see that it's not moving and I thought it wasn't working. Okay, guys, you're really noticing how crazy I really am. Guess what? It is like quarter to seven. I haven't had supper. It is time for a glass of wine. Okay, come and see me a coffee and a card or um, comment. I love your comments. Um, I love Facebook. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.